This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking some Sierra Nevada Hop Hunter. Obviously, everybody knows about the big to-do with the logo with Lagunitas. We're not going to get into that. Uh, I did find, uh, where did it go? They have the, uh, a brood on date on this now, which I don't remember seeing on Sierra Nevada before. Here it is, packaged on 227 of 15. This is 329 of 15, so it's a month old from the time it was packaged, so it's good and fresh. It's 6.2% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs, and they make a big deal about they've come up with a new way of distilling hop oil right when they pick the hops and they're their freshest, and they add that to the beer. So then they still use their traditional torpedo method that they use for their other IPAs to dry hop. So let's give it a pour and see what we got. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends, and go ahead and leave comments. I know a lot of you guys have tried this, so I'm kind of interested to see what you think of it too, so let's take a look at it. Just slightly hazy, not really a lot, just slightly hazy. Um, can't be a chill haze, this is plenty warm. A little bit of carbonation, I got bubble streaming up through it, but not massive carbonation. Uh, a little bit darker uh, yellow, not really dark. And two fingers, I might as well say bright white head. Let's do the aroma, and I was getting aroma as I was pouring. And you do get just a hint of the malt backbone, but really a lot of tropical fruit coming up off of there. You get a little bit of uh, pine, like grapefruit, orange, Maybe even a little mango or peach. Maybe peach. Maybe not mango, but maybe, maybe peach. But really, really nice aroma coming up off of this beer. I mean, as I said, they do the traditional hop for the bittering. They do the dry hop, and they put this hop oil in it. So it should be quite hoppy. However, it's not overly bitter at 60. Let's give it a taste. Very, very, very good. I mean, first taste up front, I get a little bit of the malt background, a little bit of toffee, uh, bready. Then you get some nice sweet orange juice, grapefruit. There was some pine in the aroma, not so much in the flavor. Like I said, you get a little, it's almost like sweet orange juice, like real orange juice. Then you taste some grapefruit. Finish is bitter, finish is dry. Yeah, really, really, just a solid IPA. Oh, and now, you know what, and, and the aftertaste, I was getting the pine. So, this does everything you want an IPA to do. It's refreshing, it's delicious, it's got my uh, bitterness in there, it's got my fruit flavors in there. Solid, solid IPA. Um, it's actually a nice blend. What I call this a West Coast IPA? No. But what I call it an East Coast IPA? No. I think it's a nice blend of the two. So, Kudos to you, Sierra Nevada. You've given us a beer that we would call a solid 85. Until next time, keep drinking.